teacher. It was a German teacher and we were doing some literature. Somehow we were talking about careers, I don't know why, and he said, don't think you will ever get a job in the United Nations. That's just not possible, nobody can do it. And I thought, but that doesn't make any logical sense because somebody must be able to do it. So I was going to do French and German and I talked to my advisor of studies who was a philosopher and he said to me, you know, you're the kind of person, I've had a look at your grades and your background, you're the kind of person that needs to do something difficult. And I said, well, what would you advise? And he said, you should do Arabic. And I went, okay. As in the second year, we were, I was reading a short story by a Lebanese writer and it was a description of uh, people sitting in a restaurant in Beirut. So I was reading about hummus. I don't know what hummus is. So I looked it up, chickpeas, tahini paste, and this and that. I'm from Ireland. I don't know what these things are. I've never tasted this food. I've never been to the Middle East. I don't know anybody from the Middle East. I was in Scotland. The place St. Andrews had three streets. This is nuts. I need to go and actually see the people and the culture um, you know, that I'm studying. I went and lived in the Middle East, I went and lived in Syria. I, you know, I did a, a month's course, I started teaching some kids English. And I saw an ad in the, you know, in the newspaper for a language competitive exam with the United Nations. I still remember what that man said to us, you know, at university. I just thought, I'm just going to go for this and see what happens. So the first week I was here, even when you want something and you know that you want to do something, when it actually happens, you're like, oh, this is real. And that can be a shock. So the first week I came here, I was, oh my, you know, wow, I'm here and this is real. It was uh, an investigation into the assassination of a prime minister in Lebanon. The truck bombing had created an inferno that killed Lebanon's prime minister, Rafik Hariri. And they were looking for people who were going to help out with translation department. And so I was asked if I would go on a mission by my chief. I arrived on the compound, which, and um, when I got there, somebody came up to me and said, hello, I'm the chief investigator, my name is Peter. I was wondering if you'd help us out with the project. What do you think I said? And I said, oh, sure. So when I left the investigation, they had a dinner. Um, the chief investigator said he couldn't believe that a mere translator could move from the periphery of an investigation to the centre. And I said to him afterwards, you know, I know you think that, but for me this is... I think people don't get that what translators do is they look at evidence, whether it's physical or usually language documents, and they analyse that in order to be able to understand it. It's not, you know, as some sort of robotic thing. You really, really need to understand what's beneath it in order to be able to communicate 